All right, guys, so we have some news over here about the JP side of Dokkan Battle and the reawakenings of some of these units. Now, if you guys have been following me, I actually really wanted this to happen. I said I wish uh, that the older 120 lead, or not the 120 leads, the older TUR characters, uh, like the, the flat out boost leaders and stuff, will get Dokkan Awakenings or some type of awakening. Uh, my personal is a Dokkan Awakening um, or something that allows them to get higher level in order to increase their stats. Uh, I specifically want at level 140, and that's exactly what we're getting here, and that's freaking awesome. Uh, but there's so much to this that we don't know what's happening yet. Um, but I will talk about it right now and go over some of the translations from the Reddit. Shout out to the Reddit. Shout out to Koala San Z, because he's the one who got all these translations for us up on the Reddit anyway. So, if you see over here, this is the V-Jump leak, and I'm trying to zoom in as best as I can. Um, so, it looks like over here we have the Dokkan Battle um, information. The... Some of these cards, like this is the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the Dokkan Wake, or not the Angel, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the agility one, Dokkan Wake is into his TUR variant. And it looks like he can now Z Awaken into a 140, level 140 uh, character up to Super Attack level 15. We don't know what kind of multiplier they're going to get. They, we don't know if they're going to have their own separate multiplier. We don't know if they're going to you know, change anything with the character because it's, it's kind of like a Z Awakening. It's like an extreme Z Awakening or something like that. So we don't know what's actually going to change when this happens. Um, as you can see over here, though it's kind of um, a little bit blurry, you can see that we have... Uh, oh, I can't do that, I guess. Uh, we have uh, new uh, metals used for this awakening. You have a bronze, a silver, a gold, and then I guess like the main Dokkan type uh, metals. I don't know, because um, I don't know what the heck these are. But anyway, um, bronze, silver, and uh, gold are definitely the three types of metals that we have over here. And then we have one primary one. Uh, apparently, well, we're going to go over here anyway to um, the actual Reddit translation uh, in a second. We can go down here and we can see, like, there's going to be certain characters that can be used for a benefit. What the hell is this guy? <laughs> I just realized that. Who is this guy? Like, the bl uh, red, blue, white dots, polka dots. He's just like, whoa. Anyway, um, so it looks like these are three extreme characters, and these three are going to be useful against the event. Um, I don't know exactly what the heck that actually means. I don't, it could just mean that extreme tech types are going to be good against this event that we're going to go up against. It could just mean that these three are going to be primary units that you're going to want to run on a team. But uh, anyway, let's go over to Koala Sun's um, information. It's a system where TUR characters can awaken even further. They go up to level 140. Super Attack goes up to level 15. It's called something to the effect of Extreme Z Awakening or Z Awakening to the Limit. We need to wait for it to come to Global for official naming. Um... Let's see, according to the info, a character can Extreme Z Awaken multiple times, and it says skills will get improvements, but it doesn't specify if it's leader or passive skill or both. Okay, that's good to know. Um, first character to get this is going to be Angel Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Not Angel, Agility Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I keep on saying Angel because it's on my mind. <laughs> uh, special missions for Extreme Z Awakening are to be collected from the Extreme Z Battle events. So that's one that we were just talking about, how it's going to have its own se separate event, which is going to... That's, that's cool. I like that. That's giving a little bit of diversity there. Um, apparently someone said it's something like Naruto's um, Something Road or whatever it is. I don't play Naruto Blazing Battle uh, NBB, so if you guys know anything about it, let me know in the comments below. I'm watching the Naruto series now, uh, just so that way I, I can bring the game to the channel. I might start playing it. It depends, because I kind of wailed out a little bit last night on Bleach Brave Souls, and I don't like to wail out on that game at all. I never do anymore. I haven't wailed out since last Christmas, but um, the new characters came out for Halloween, the sexy Yodorichi and the sexy Soyphone. Um, I don't like Orihime, but those two are really good characters, especially that Yodorichi, because, I mean, one, fan service for all as all hell, and um, two, she's just really good. Long stride, flash step, and um, super really good normal attack damage. If you guys are Bleach Brave Soul players, you'll know. Anyway, uh, it seems that these are four different making metals, bronze, silver, gold, rainbow. Okay, so the rainbow is like the Dokkan one that I was thinking. Uh, seen on the image, the Extreme Z battle will get harder each time you clear it. Characters at the bottom are recommended for Extreme Z battles for Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so that's what I was saying before. Um, each time, it gets harder each time you clear it. I'm just going to go back to that for a second. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means there's going to be extra character, extra health, extra damage, maybe all of them. Who knows? Um, it's planned to be released in November, so we have a couple weeks. Um, I will try my best for you guys to display this. Um, I don't have a lot of cards on the JP side. I really just log in for the login bonuses, and I play and summon on the like the two-year, uh, well, every annual and, bi and uh, biannual um, anniversaries. So that's usually when I go on. But anyway, that's that. I think that's freaking really cool. They're finally giving some relevance to these older cards. Hopefully, they make them a little bit more viable. I mean, if you know, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, I mean, the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku is not 
bad at all. He's a really good unit. But he only does supreme damage. If he did immense damage with 100% up, he'd be a lot more viable. And, okay, so it doesn't... He's probably not going to be able to get the immense damage modifier when these Z-Awakening things come around. But his passive skill could go up, let's just say, um, you know, spitball in here, uh, to 150% with a supreme damage modifier, which make him a little bit more viable on a mono team. Um, there's, they said nothing. Koala-san didn't find anything about, um, you know, link skills being added or anything like that. I think if he got prepared for battle... This card would be a lot more viable on a mono agility team. I don't know who he would actually replace, but I mean, he would replace someone. <laughs> uh, but overall, this is going to be really cool. I'm really psyched about this. Um, I think that, well, I found this on the Reddit also. Um, this is for another, well, my computer's freezing up on me. Uh, this is another something else that's coming on on the JP side of Dokkan Battle as well. We don't know what this is, uh, but it looks like from Koala-san. Again, thank you, Koala-san. This is Super Battle Road. You can only use teams of the same type. For example, strength only, agility only. Uh, not sure if it's going to be extreme or super fit. There's going to be 10 stages. Rewards for clearing each stage is a new type of reward that will be obtained. We don't know what it is yet. Um, and it says most likely is going to launch on the 28th, which is in 10 days from now. At least from the time that I'm recording this. Because today is the 18th, and that's 10 days. So, <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, stay tuned for that. And just something really quick. Uh, categories are coming to global. So, we're going to have that coming up uh, really soon. Hopefully, we don't know exactly when it's going to be here, but that's going to be pretty sick for all of you who are lucky enough to pull the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta um, or the Omega Shenron. Unfortunately, if you know the despair that I went through, I think I put like 800 to 1,000 stones in the Omega Banner, and I didn't get a single Omega. Super pissed off about that. Uh, one thing I just want to say, um, and I'm probably going to do a separate video about this as well, uh, I think that the, Super, the Omega Shenron and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to come around for the Christmas Banner on the... Super Gogeta and Janemba banners. Um, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Uh, I've been thinking this for a while, especially once they came out, because I knew that they were going to come again. Um, I don't think that we're going to get those categories soon. I didn't look up to see if we actually have a date on them. I would say that we're, we're probably not going to get them for at least a month. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for joining me here today. I just wanted to do a quick news informational video on this. I'm still going to be doing my Dokkan, uh, my weekly grind video. That's going to be coming up later on today. I just wanted to get this news out to you. So thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And stay tuned. I'll be releasing that weekly grind video like around 4 or 5 o'clock. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the comments.